Where is the doctor? I'm looking for the doctor. Is the doctor in? Oh, doc. Okay, these ain't working. Uh, all right. Now, I'm going to just say this right quick. You are going to be so grateful to the great God that God did not let you sleep and miss this. Okay? Because we are blessed today uh, to have a sister I first heard about on the Karen Hunter radio show, Sirius XM. And I'm listening to her and she literally, please don't miss this, has been used by God. And she's a, an incredible woman of faith. She's a genius. You talk about head and heart, spirit and scholarship. She has it all, all wrapped up in this one powerhouse of a sister. I'm listening to the Karen Hunter show and this sister is talking about how God has shown her and she has in laboratory experience uh, experiments I'm sorry been able to kill cancer in mice okay I just want to know what cancer you've killed okay since y'all sitting there like ain't nothing just happened like I didn't just announce something incredible and phenomenal has taken place in our midst done by a black woman Okay, so I ain't gonna say nothing else since y'all are still asleep. So I'm gonna ask Dr. Hadia Nicole Green to please come forward. This is a powerhouse of a sister. She is a, an incredible woman of faith, brilliant, PhD in physics. Uh, give them some physics equations and see if they can, since they ain't all happy right now. But I, I, I just, I'm, I'm so excited because I got to give this, okay? So Friday, yeah, Friday I spoke uh, in Shreveport for Southwest Regional Conference of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, Fraternity of Jesus. The Bible says he's Alpha. And so, uh, but, I, but when I got there, like there was, there, there was rumbling in the ground the whole time. And I didn't know they had earthquakes in Shreveport. And so found, come to find out that she spoke that morning for the convention's regional, uh, Southwest Regional Conference and just wiped it clean. And so the brothers of Alpha Phi Alpha have decided that we would be the first I mean, I mean, that's who we are. And so we're the first and we are basically adopting her and we are going to make sure that she gets the money she needs to translate this now into for humans, for humans. So, so the brothers of Alpha Phi Alpha, that's how we roll. The distinguished brothers of Alpha Phi Alpha. So we're hoping that uh, the Kappas and the uh, Qs and the Sigmas will just come on. Y'all come on behind. We, we started so y'all can come now. It, it, it's okay. It's okay for y'all to come now. Okay. <laughs> No, much love, much love. But very seriously, uh, every time I hear her, I'm just totally blown away because Dr. Irish Sessions, did you, she can preach because she preached at 8 o'clock and she wasn't even supposed to be preaching. And so uh, I'm going to let her go ahead and just preach right now. I want you all to receive this genius with a capital G, an amazing phenom, HBCU product, Alabama A&M, Dr. Hadia Nicole Green. Dr. Pastor Freddie Haynes, thank you so much. Thank you to all your members, your ministers on the roster. Thank you all so much for allowing me this opportunity to share my testimony with you. God is. That's the physics equation you asked for. God is. God is. I am very careful to give God all the glory, all the honor and all the plays, because I know where all my ideas, all my blessings, all my inventions come from. God is. God is able. God can heal through divine miracle, and God can heal through Dr. Hadid Nicole Green. God can heal through physics. God can heal, because God is. So I came this morning. We had a good time at the 8 o'clock service, and I want to share a little bit of my testimony with you all here today, because if God can do anything with anybody. My story is that. And if God can do this through me, God can do anything through anybody. When I was 18 months, my biological mother passed away. I didn't know my biological father. 
My grandparents took my two brothers in Hyann and they both passed away in the same year when I was four years old. So my aunt, Orly Smith, and her husband, General Lee Smith, they took my two brothers and I in and they raised us as if we were their own after they had already raised eight children and their youngest was 21. I grew up to be the first in my family to go to college. I'm a proud graduate of an HBCU. Alabama A&M University, and I had the amazing opportunities to intern at NASA and University of Rochester Institute of Optics. And I had the privilege and the honor of serving as Miss Alabama A&M University. And when I graduated, with this full scholarship and no student loans, I graduated with a 4.0 in physics. When I used to study all night and people would say physics is hard, I said, you know what's hard? The transatlantic slave trade my ancestors came through. You know what's hard? Picking cotton from KC in the morning to KC at night. You know what's hard? Trying to get the right to vote. That is my lineage. That's my ancestry. So physics, I got this. So the day after graduation, my aunt announced that she had cancer. And she said that she would rather die than experience the side effects of chemotherapy and radiation. How many people in this room have been impacted by cancer, lost a loved one to cancer, a friend, a neighbor, a coworker, a relative? Usually, like always, it's the majority of people in the room. Cancer came and picked a fight with my family and won a couple times. I was the primary caregiver for my aunt, this church going, praying woman of God. She was the glue that held our family together, the cooker of Christmas and Thanksgiving dinners, the prayer over all the strayers in the family. This was the woman who raised me, the Ora Lee Smith of our family, born in 1932. This woman of God taught me how to pray. And I prayed the whole time I was taking care of her. And I couldn't save my aunt. Three months after she passed, my uncle who raised me went through chemotherapy. He was diagnosed with cancer, went through chemotherapy and radiation. And I watched my aunt go through losing her ability to talk, to walk, to speak, and hearing the last grunts of breath. I watched my uncle go through losing 150 pounds, all of his hair, all of his eyelashes, his fingernails turned black, and his beautiful chocolate skin looked like it had been barbecued. And as I'm praying as the caregiver for both of them, I'm like, God, why did you allow this to happen to the only parents I knew? Something said in me, you know how to fight. Not only do you know how to fight because you had big brothers and big cousins who used to pick on you and make you tough because you little, <laughs> but now you know how to fight with all the degrees in physics and the education I've given you. Use that. So I had to say, Father, send me. I'll go back to school and got two more degrees in physics. So I became one of the first black women to get a PhD in physics. Praise God. On top of that, I trained for five years at the Comprehensive Cancer Center and a year in the Department of Pathology at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. And when God allowed me to download through me as the vessel, it's this new technology, this new arsenal to fight and win in this war against cancer. And the technology I developed has shown complete elimination of cancer in mice. Complete. No chemo. No radiation, no surgery, some little, little, little bitty things like me called nanoparticles and this light that God had me shine using lasers. Pastor Haynes and I did a little interview and I had to sing about this little laser that I'm using that's lower power, lower power, lower power than a laser pointer. And I said, God told me. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine. Okay, I'm not going to go. 
because if God had given me the ministry of song, I wouldn't have been a physicist. <laughs> but I love singing. And I come today bearing good news. Because I'm standing before you not just saying we had a hope for a cure. The technology has been published in scientific journals. I've gotten a million dollar grant from the government. I'm a professor now at Morehouse School of Medicine. We have clinical partners in a variety of cancer types who are ready to begin human trials in breast cancer, prostate cancer, colorectal cancer, anal cancer, cervical cancer, pancreatic cancer, head and neck cancer, brain cancer, skin cancer. We got them lined up ready to start our human trials. The most heartbreaking part about what I have to tell you today is that we have cancer patients lined up saying, can you do to me what you did to that mouse? Can you shrink my tumors? I don't want chemo. I don't want surgery. And they have sent me home and told me there is nothing else they can do. And we are turning cancer patients away because we haven't raised the first $10 million to begin human trials. Because when people see me on the internet, they think somebody else is going to fund this. So I thank you, Pastor Freddie Haynes, the good Reverend Doctor, for allowing me this platform to share and just keep it real. God didn't give this to me for me to do this by myself. My divine assignment, the mission of the nonprofit that I started and named after my late aunt, the Aura Lee Smith Cancer Research Foundation, is inspired by Susan G. Coleman. I said, if we can have a Susan G., we can have an Aura Lee. If it was meant for me to do this all by myself, I might not be careful to give God all the glory. But I thank you for this opportunity to come and share and tell you guys that my commitment is to keep this technology affordable and accessible so that my family, my community, my village can afford it. It is not for sale. It is not. I am grateful, I am humble, that I am just a lowly servant on assignment. And I've turned down $100 million offers for the technology, and I said, no, it's too important to everybody who's suffering from cancer, to everybody that's lost a loved one to cancer, that we have the opportunity, and not just in our lifetime, we can start within 12 months of raising our first $10 million. We're not talking hopes and dreams. We've demonstrated evidence, and I know we got to be 10 times better than everybody else when we do something, and I'm coming before you 10 times, 100 times better, and I'm not saying they not doing it, but if they hadn't figured it out before I got here, I'm coming with an answer to cancer. And I need y'all to help me bring it forth, to bring it to fruition, so that we can start saving human lives and not just giving hope. We aware, but we can heal. So let's do this together. Stand with me. Stand with me. Stand up. Stand up. And we gonna invoke some, yes, we can. Yes. She awesome. We're going to support her, right? We're going to support her. We're going to make this happen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We have an opportunity. We, we just heard a great word about healing. God has given a sister who's here today the, what it takes to heal. And she wants to make sure that capitalism does not co-opt her vision. Because y'all know what that, what, what that looks like. And she's trying to make sure this is something that everybody can afford. And who knows, you may give today to something that will save your own life. And you can't put a price tag on that. So I'm asking everyone right now. To please prepare a gift. I'm going to ask you to come down front and give your gift, okay? You know how we do it? Prepare your gift. Okay, so we're posted in the front.
front and in the middle. So you ain't even got to come all the way down in the front and in the middle. And so I'm asking you, please, uh, let me give you the website. The website is oralee.org, oralee, O-R-A-L-E-E dot org. Okay. Okay. All right. And also follow on social media at we are Aura Lee. Okay. All right. We're going to make this happen, y'all. We're going to make this happen. We're going to make this happen. Oh, yeah, thank you. We're going to make this happen. Okay. So listen, just, just let, let's stand. Let's stand. And I'm going to ask you to go to the basket nearest you. And please go right back to your seat because I want you to experience the pop-up museum with us. And the good doctor is going to be in the back. She's going to be in the back. You can meet the doctor. Meet living history. And take her picture because she's also very wonderful, very beautiful. And you know who's going to be back there? That anointed powerhouse, Kia Westbrook. So come on back there and meet Kia Westbrook and be blessed. Be blessed. Thank you, Friendship West. I knew you'd come through. I knew you'd come through. Come on down and bring your gift. Come bring your gift. Come bring your gift. Come on. Come bring your gift.